me, Mallory Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I am here with Jonte. Tell me your page, tell your details. Yeah, um, the kid in the city is my page, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that. But yeah. <laughs> so we did a video for her birthday earlier this summer, yeah. I guess, earlier this year. So we are doing yeah. a little get ready with me for my birthday, which is this coming Monday. My birthday will be passed by the time this comes out. But I have a few questions. We're gonna get all our faces together. We have my birthday dinner tonight. So if you are interested in seeing these looks coming together and just enjoying the chaos and us chatting, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna jump right into it. Um, starting our makeup. I have 33 questions. Um, we are seasoned yappers so i highly doubt we are going to get through all 33 no absolutely. we're just going to see where the conversation takes us i'm gonna start with some lighter ones and just see what happens we're in for do some ride. funny ones don't do nothing where it's like well the questions are already listed so it's not we're not winging it we're gonna get what we're gonna get well i mean like just the tone of the question don't have it like well i remember when i first met you okay let me just ask a question <laughs> <laughs> this go. is why we're going to get through four questions like i said we're going to my birthday dinner tonight so i'm going to try to do actual eyeshadow and a little bit of face period but we're also going to crop some out because you know some of us take longer than others to do our makeup so i just want to make sure everybody has enough time to do everything <laughs> okay um let me let me let, see I, don't do that don't, what's your, don't do that what's your style theme for tonight's dinner and how did you come up with it like what's your look for tonight so actually i changed my look last minute so this is actually a great question so recently quinta bronson had this interview where she had that short pixie yeah, cut yeah they were calling her nia short yes and she had a little Get yes like nia long but she's little <laughs> this is why it's gonna take forever i see i'm trying to stay focused <laughs> anyway she had like this little mini dress and then she had a nice trench coat so that's what I'm wearing. And then I'm wearing some nice, uh, like the same blue of the dress. I had that blue and boot, that <laughs> boot in blue. Boot and boot. Um, and that's gonna be my outfit. Um, but yeah, that was my inspiration. Like I had another outfit, but um, I changed it because I want my, I want to keep my coat on. Like I want my coat to be a part of the outfit. So I changed it and that was my inspiration. So shout out to Quinta. I'm probably like three feet taller than her, but that's um, as well. Mine is a two-piece set that I'm doing. I just love a good two-piece set. So, nothing crazy. Just a little leather two-piece set, some boots, coat, because it's cold out Give here. Give them the color, girl. I went in all simple. detail. Okay. We, can't, we can't have too many answers for every question. Okay, girl! She does long form on hers. I, you know, I love a quick little, a little, a little one, too. Okay, next question. What did I just ask? Oh, you're stopping. We already know this one. What's your go-to outfit for a special occasion? I'm all black. Yeah. When all else fails, yeah all black because it don't know a scenario it don't know an occasion it just always works nighttime daytime every season yeah always works i always have something to go with it i have the accessories i have everything you have one beauty product you can pick to use for the rest of your life what's the beauty product you can't live without this hue to beauty pink powder setting powder that's what you're gonna pick yeah because i'm oily i'm a, i'm shining so I feel like I can I can switch out like I'll be fine to like switch out foundations like I never have a problem finding foundation. No no never... you get one product though. You get one product. You only get one beauty product. Oh. You adding it to other stuff like no 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 you get a product. Oh. I I know what I, I'm going concealer. If I got one product I'm going concealer because I can do a full B with concealer but I can also do a light B with concealer. I can use it. As eyeshadow, I could use it as a foundation. I'm going concealer. You yeah. still going setting powder? No, no, no. I'm going to go concealer too because that makes a lot of sense. Because you can get like a skin tone concealer. Yeah. Lighter, darker. You could do a contour with concealer. Second to the concealer, I would go eyeshadow because I've seen girls do everything with eyeshadow. They do yeah. blush with eyeshadow. They do contouring. They do bronzing. All with yeah. different eyeshadows. I was thinking too narrow minded. I'm like, pink setting powder. I'm like, this is my you about I think, to look crazy. I think I took favorite, like my current yeah. favorite thing. That's what I did. So your current favorite is that powder? Yeah, I love it. I love my it. My current favorite is maybe the Pat McGrath concealer. Um, I actually bought it last time my birthday was up here. It's just really good and really pigmented. I want to get it in other colors because she just does she does good things. I've heard a lot of good things about Pat McGrath. She's pricey, but it's worth it. So I kind of let her. Do I let her have it. Do. Yeah. It's the only thing I own from her, but so that should let you know it's kind of pricey. Oh, this is good because we spent a lot of birthdays together. What's 
your favorite birthday memory of us together? I have oh, my funniest. Gosh. I have my funniest, but I'm not gonna pick do one. It. Pick one. The I can't say the. I'm not ready to say the funniest. Well, why'd you break it up? I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna do it. Um, you go first. I can't think. Um, it seems like you already you have something in mind. No, I will say this. Um, this my most recent birthday when we went to Houston. I felt like it was perfect just because we. I loved Houston when I went the first like my first. That was time, a good time. And I feel like that was the redemption. I feel like it was the perfect size group. It was a it was a nice group of girls. Yeah. And it was like that was my like redemption birthday. That makes sense. I would say that was like my favorite. And I just can't think that far back because th that was be so back much. to college. Like. We added a lot if that looks a little crazy. But my favorite birthday memory is probably like you said, there's so many. I'm gonna go because I think there's a question on here about also like just your favorite birthday in general. So I'm just gonna combine them. Probably my 30th birthday mm. in Atlanta. I've never had any kind of like surprises or anything like that. And we got an Airbnb and everybody was there. So it was really nice. It's not too bright. So yeah, I'm gonna go. That was a really 30th good 30th birthday. And we went to the club. It was acting yeah. a fool in the club. We had we a really good dinner. In the club. And the same with the brunch was a really good time. Yeah. Everybody was down, like it was just a good, the combination yeah. was that a good was time. A good it was a good weekend. And I just want to say, that is my favorite glam on you. Like the that silver that dress. That silver with the ponytail. And that ponytail. Right Baby, it was that really was my good. favorite glam yeah. on you of all time. You were like at your peak brown. Oh. Like you could get no browner than what you were that. Yeah, that, that was weekend. a good one. It was I feel really like this concealer's about to squirt out. Hey, what? Yo. Let me see, what it's saying? I can just tell it was, you know what it's like caked up? Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid to keep pushing it and then it, oh, 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 okay. But yeah, that's my favorite. That's like, yeah. That's like, that was for sure my favorite birthday glam. Oh, that yeah. ponytail was good. The ponytail was yeah. so good. And I remember taking that ponytail out. I was like, a nightmare. This is, but it was worth it. It was worth it. But I was like, what the? That's the only time well, I miss hair. So I could do stuff like that. Like I'm gonna do a little ponytail or a little, Oh, a little half up, half down. I was gonna yeah. say, but I was gonna use your birthday as the other one because the first Houston trip was so good. Oh, and I, I had a half of that. That, was, that first Houston trip, the first Houston trip, might have been. Damn, that, that was really good. It was like it was barely open because it was post COVID, yeah. but it was open for us. Like it yeah. was just open up. We and found that's when all we had the that personal clubs. driver. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just wanna say Houston. Me and Houston is like okay. undefeated. My birthday in Houston is like undefeated. Okay, what's the most exciting thing you're looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to them Reposado Lemon Drops. So, and I'm ex ex looking forward, I can't say. So I've been doing like a little fast on um, alcohol. So I haven't had like any like alcohol, alcohol yeah. since um, July 1st. Really? No, August 1st, my fault. I was like, like really? July. Since August 1st. <laughs> So I'm really excited to get some repo lemmy dribbies in me. And I'm ex I'm just excited for tonight. I feel like we always have a good time whenever we're just like la di da di da. So yeah, I'm excited for to go outside in DC. I love going outside in DC. I'm most excited for yeah, being outside. I fasted and detox and stuff all um September, so I haven't drank in over a month. Um, but I'm also really like specifically I'm really excited for the food at the restaurant. Yeah, they have um, vegan options that are just Regularly like integrated into the menu not like we threw together some vegetables, but on purpose So I'm <laughs> actually very excited to try like restaurant vegan. vegan food because I've been in the house and doing factor and that kind of stuff all month, but I haven't eaten out like in restaurants in a while so yeah that's what i'm excited for oh these are getting a little introspective okay oh god well no i'm gonna do i'll just answer this one shortly how do you feel about aging i feel good but i feel like aging is a blessing and especially because i see my family and i see people who are older i asked my mom her last birthday in august i asked her what was the best decade and she was like 60 but she's in her 60s now like mm. she's like every decade just gets better and better and i was like well that gives me like something to look forward to yeah so I don't, I don't really believe in age. I don't believe in the concept of like, oh, you're old or oh, you're young. You know what I'm saying? I don't really believe in that, but I do feel like, like, I feel like today is the best version of myself. And that's what Absolutely. I like. Yesterday, like I learned, I grew from yesterday. Like that's what I like about age. 
when you meet me today, I'm the best version of myself. I'm the most healed. I'm the most transparent. I'm like, this is the best version of me. So that's how I see age. Right. And I love birthdays. Some people are like, well, I'm going to wait till milestone birthday. To me, every birthday is a milestone birthday. Yeah. Every birthday. Somebody make it 33. Every birthday is a milestone birthday. And I always say, like, I'm never turning this young again. Literally. This is literally the youngest, youngest I will I'll ever, ever turn ever again. Yeah. So I take every birthday on, like, this is the youngest I'm ever turning ever yep. again. So I take every I take every birthday on like 21, 30. They all are big deals to me. Right. Okay, let me finish blending out this concealer. Yeah, me too. That concealer is a hell of a step. Right under and especially when you're under the eye. Yeah. But I gotta get it right. It's like I'm not about to have to do this. You know, if Kamala don't stop texting me, you get in the vote, girl. We damn near on the same step. Look at us. If you could spin, but you be baking and stuff. So your your baking takes a little bit more time, but that's fine. Because you got eyeshadow, so no, I don't. You not doing eyeshadow? I did what I needed to do. I wear lashes, so I can't get too crazy because you can't clean them right. Damn, that girl fast! I didn't even see. Um, if you could spend your birthday anywhere in the world, where would it be? I really want to go to Japan. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I have two. Japan was one of mine. Japan's been on my list. Yeah, I since really, I was like a child. Yes, I really want to go to Japan. I just feel like every time I see it, it's just so beautiful. It's just like. I feel like when I watch like sci-fi movies and they're like in 3084 like I feel like that's Japan yeah and I feel like yeah I would love to go to Japan and I honestly what I would really love to do when I have a significant other is do like a like a cabin trip with just us and I want to just like watch cartoons and make s'mores and just be laid up in a cabin with a man for in Japan? my birthday no that's just separate. oh okay I was like a cabin in Japan um, Japan's always on mine because I I love Japanese food um, and the fashion, everything else. I was supposed to do my grad semester there, but oh really? Yeah, Asia's always Asia and Africa are my. I started learning Mandarin, and everything, child. Um, Asia and Africa are always. I love that I still learn stuff about you. I did not know that. I never knew that. We're like an old married couple. Like, well, I still learn something. No, we already talked about that. We, yeah. we low key could be. Um, so Asia is always number one. Honestly, anywhere in Asia, but I would love to go to Tokyo. And then mm. Africa is always Tokyo for sure. For 35, I'm already saving up, and I'm already alerted the girls. 35, I'm doing Ghana. I already have a savings account. I'm already started planning the trip. I have to. I feel like I have to go to Africa first. I feel like before I go to any other country, patronize anywhere else, I need to get to Africa. Mm, that's about, mm. So that's number you're one. You're not wrong when you're right. It's number one on my list. What's one thing you're looking forward to in the coming year? Okay, I guess that's a birthday. Girl! That's a birthday question. Um, yeah, I'll let you answer this. That this is for you. Again, I feel like I kind of. It's a new. Like this is the new. I've never been 33 before. It's like I've never done this before. I've never gotten to experience it before. So everything is the first time. I'm just looking forward to, I feel a real grown up. I feel like being in a home and like just, I feel like I've reached a new level of responsible and like adulting this year that I haven't before. My friend makes a joke, she just had her second baby. She always jokes that she's like a teen mom. Because she's like, we just feel like kids still. Like right. we just feel, it, and you're, do, you're learning everything for the first time. So I kind of feel like I've been cosplaying as an adult. So I feel like 33 low key is like, my first year as an adult. I don't know why. I just feel real childish. I, no, my, I'm not. I call my mom at the dentist. Baby, I call my mom when my coworker send me an email I don't like. Yeah, my the the, 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 the people at the car place are gonna know my daddy. I'm okay. Like, Can you repeat that? <laughs> Say to him. That's not right. Okay. What are you looking forward to? You you had a birthday not too long ago. Um. Yeah. I think I'm most looking forward to like taking the next step in my career. I feel like that's really my main focus, getting my certification and, you know, really starting to like make the big, big bucks um, with my project management certification. I did not mean to put my powder on just now. You did that last time. Yeah, it's fine. I think you're it's rushing. Fine, Cause I haven't, well, it's fine because this isn't a liquid, so it's fine. Mine almost was going to be, when I was thinking about what to manifest this weekend, mine was almost going to be career oriented, but then I had to tell myself, I used to have to do this in therapy. Better help. It's not an ad. We get you some therapy. Um, when I'm thinking of a goal or thinking of something that I want to achieve, what's the root of it? Like for me, I was like, okay, it's actually not manifesting that I want this specific job and this salary at this company. It's stability and security. Yeah. That way... I'm not seeking, like, if I do job applications and I don't get said job, 
it doesn't feel like I failed if I still have stability and security. Like that's what right. you're, it's like you're see, like I want this car. Usually you want that car as a status symbol or you want like something attached to it. Yeah. Cause like so I, I, I don't okay, have a dream so job. I don't dream of labor, but I dream of security. Probably yeah, probably. That's not saying yours is wrong though. No, but that's a good point. Cause like okay yeah, let me figure out what that is. It might be accolades. And to me, it's just like I do want that bit of accomplishment, and I know that I want to use my certification for personally as right. well as like professionally. So I think for me, it's just like for like. How do I say like for my future self, but in like every aspect of my life, not just like yeah, like for the long, it's a long, it's a long yeah, term, a long plan yeah, kind of goal. It's definitely for like in five years from now, I can like literally like promote myself to customer because I'm doing my own thing and like thank you Verizon, but like I'm straight. Right. That makes sense. You know what I thought about what? when I'm doing this? We are supposed to do a TikTok trend to, for two weeks now. Neither oh, we haven't done it. Oh my God, Darby. Neither one of us <sighs> has done it. And it's it's really bad on me because I'm the one who sent it. And I forgot. I keep forgetting. And then I said, and then you reminded me. You were like, oh, we got to do this. I was like, oh, I'm going to do it today. And I said, well, she doing it today. I'm going to do it. So what it oh, is. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to do it at work. It's like it. um, a grid. And it's supposed to be like what you think of your best friend. Like the color you think of, the animal you think of. I already know your color. The state. Well, don't tell me any stuff. You haven't, if we're not going to do it, no, don't I'm just try saying. to verbally do it. No, but I feel like your color is so, like that's the easiest thing. I feel like the color for everybody's easy. Though. So that, that's, yeah. I used the wrong, I'm supposed to use my puff. Girl. Well, no, it's because I didn't pack all my stuff. You know, when you're traveling, it's I like, did you need extra puff? There are extra ones. Mm -hmm, no, one. no, I have this one. The, um, the drawer that you weren't supposed to open, the one above there. No, I have this one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're supposed to have been done it, haven't done it, and at this point, I'm like, are we we gonna get this done? It should be easy. I think the problem yeah. is I started, I actually started doing it. The colors weren't being aesthetic enough for me; it wasn't blending properly. <laughs> because I still want it to be cute. Like I don't want to no, just look like yeah. a bunch of pictures slapped together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Like I'm not laughing because I'm like that's ridiculous. I'm laughing like that would have helped me. Yeah, up too. like that would have that would have helped. I me have up so too. many folders of. Like audios. reels and audios and ideas and I'm definitely gonna do the one tonight when it's like um you like I, you like this don't you like uh huh and it's like the friend from out of town that finds the better restaurant oh okay like but you're from out of town I live here and you're from out of town you found a fire restaurant right never heard of. it's the reason there's no birthday vlog because <laughs> I like to live in the moment. Yeah. And it's hard to live in the moment. I can't see while I'm doing this blush. So I, I feel, feel like, like as long as we get a picture, like that'd be my main thing. Like this is gonna be. Oh, I'm getting a picture. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if, we, if I don't, if I get my picture, I like okay, I didn't get an audio. Like okay, that's okay. Yeah. Well, you know I'm saying? just saying like the vlog itself because that's a whole weekend. It's too much commitment. And what ends up happening, which is ended up happening, is I like will start a scene, quote unquote, and then. The next clip will just be me starting another scene. Yeah, like, okay, let me tell you what I'm we about did. to go to the store. Yeah, and it's like I'm just narrating it versus being like, follow me on Instagram. Yeah. I'll give you some videos here and there. It's gonna be plenty of reels. Yeah, but as for an actual vlog video, I see why people hire somebody to follow them around. That I completely understand. Um, what's the best birthday gift you've ever received? It ought to be best, just one of your most memorable or something like that. Because best is a big, that's a big word for Elmo. Mm. Mine, I'm going to say I got a shotgun for my 30th birthday. Because it's so random, and but it's something I really wanted, but it makes no sense. Like, why are you, are you why are you here buying a shotgun? Um, but it was just something I really wanted. And it was like, you only, I would only get that if you knew I wanted that. I don't really have like a favorite. Okay, so... I don't know I, I can't really I don't even really remember like birthday gifts to be honest I feel like I remember like the people who spent time with me on my birthday like I remember when what you were Walmart living such and stuff and you like make like got a flight I'm, I'm so serious I'm a quality time person so like me too but I don't but I, I can't think of a gift I really cannot think of a birthday gift do you gift. get gifts as adults mm, not really not really okay well then that because I feel like as an adult just be like you getting a flight and all that stuff. I almost, I almost did a um gift from a child. And I always just give my parents give me money. I remember that money. gift because as an adult. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that thing. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm about to say that's that. I, I just realized that's what I was doing that thing that you told me about yesterday. <laughs> you heard it right, Ty. 
Tiny? Tiny, you know what Darby told me yesterday? She was like, Jante, I don't know if you noticed, but sometimes you say the same things like three times. She said, like, and I know you don't realize it because every time you say it, it's like you haven't said it before. And I was like, for real? I was like, I'm. Yes, yes, yes. Because you're trying to say something and she keeps repeating the same word over you. Darby, when I tell you when you told me that yesterday, I was like, for real? Tiny, I'm so glad, Tiny. I'm so glad somebody's here to. Tiny, when was you gonna tell me? I thought you were doing it on purpose. Oh, wow. I was trying to go slow and take some time because um, I knew you had the bacon stuff. I'm in the set with this Huda, Huda Beauty. You said you finna? Mm hmm. I just did a video for One Stars. New One Star. One Side is Patrick Star. One not, Side. I, one side is new foundation, yeah. and it is the last. I need another foundation, like I need a hole in my head. But that foundation looked so good, and it wore really well all day. That I it was I almost wanted to get it in Sephora yesterday, but it was so good. If you have not gotten a sample, get you a sample because you deserve. And it's better oh, than God. It's better than the other, the oh, Jesus. Secure the Blur. It's better than that foundation, which isn't bad, but it's just better than that one. I packed two of the same liners, Juvie Place Brownies, which is really pointless, but here we are. <laughs> okay, great. And I also packed um, five different shades of Nudie Peaky Brown, Sandy Rose. So we're just going to pick which nude lip we'd like to do. I'm doing a little plummy, like a dark plummy lippy. You know, when I was younger, I used to love a dark lip, but for some reason now, I, I know, not for some reason, with my hair, it gives big auntie. With my hair and a dark lip, it there, there's definitely a peppermint in my purse. Like, it's just stop very... Talk, stop talking to it's, me. You know, you know what I mean? Especially no. with the nails, like, it's a lot. It's, it's definitely a peppermint in my purse. Yeah, or that weird, that uh, light, that cream savers, strawberry candy with the oh swirl. Oh my God, I can hold you. That strawberry cream savers. My aunt used to have those all the time. And that's my point. Stay with a bee. And that's my hunt. My grandma used to stay with a bee. It's certain oh. stuff that with certain hair, it's too much. Or not enough. Like when I had long hair, certain outfits, I would look at and be like, that go good with a shortcut. But then it don't hit the same when you got regular girl hair. Like certain edgy stuff don't hit the same when you just got yeah. secretary. Certain Suppress. outfits when I wear my bob hit different than when I yeah. wear my natural hair out. And the short hair like makes I feel everything like my natural edgier. Hair with the shaved side is a little funkier, it's a little edgy. Right, so it makes sense for the outfit. Mm-hmm. That's all. And the hair, the short hair can get onto you with the wrong thing. A dangling earring with the short hair can get crazy sometimes. And I'm like, ooh, skin very deaconess. But I just gotta kind of pick out. That's why I only wear studs. Yeah, I'm a stud girl. That's just because I pulled. One of my earrings playing basketball, I'm like the lowest, like it's stretched. So if I wear like longer earrings, it's like, it looks weird because it's dangling. It already kind of hangs low. <laughs> Why did you like <laughs> stop and look at Because I was trying not to say hang, it hangs low, but then I was like, there's no other way to describe how to do your ear hang low, do it drag up on the flow. Do it wobble to the flow. I said do it drag up on the flow because I'm talking about your ear. Can you tie it in a bow, do you? You been a little abusive today. <laughs> but I was singing the song and you was dancing. You been a little. You were dancing though. Cause that's what I thought you were doing. Do your ears hang low? Do it what? Well. Like I thought you were doing an actual song. You're, and then I was like, cause I told you. I, I said, know, I said do a drag up on the floor. And then you were like, oh well, no, it, I could change the words. I'm talking about No, the there's a version that go do a drag up on the floor. What song was that? Mills? Girl, what's that? Mills? What song was that? You don't do know that song? Chain hang low. Thank you. He didn't say do a wobble low. on the flow. Exactly. Thank you. Is this the right lipstick? Oh, no. honey love. Give me that honey. Mm -hmm. Oh. You know what? Also, I tell everybody, you can listen to R. Kelly music now because his money goes to the, the copyright. Victims. Yeah, it goes to victims. So look it up. It's on there. Technically, you're okay. We just don't support Just don't be now. proud. Don't be playing like AJ number to number. Yeah. yeah, don't be too proud. Don't make it weird. Like, have some decency. I try to do a little nudie. I went more pinky than I'm thinking I want to go. Mm -hmm. But I think that still goes with the outfit. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do this over it. We are going to finish doing some finishing touches and then we'll be back. 
this is still the amount of product that's in this is still amazing to me because this looks like, i remember you first got that and you showed still me how looks big it like was. it i think you facetimed me and i was like yo yeah it's huge hey yo when they were spiraling after they got to that lake house and that girl was acting crazy I don't be able to breathe after that one size. It's like, I hold my breath. Yeah, you have to. I hold my breath and I try to breathe out my mouth. <laughs> Cause that's rough. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it it's like attacks lot. you. Yeah, I mean, it does a good job, but it, it gets aggressive. Do you have any birthday traditions? Um, no, usually like the week before my birthday, I just, I usually take like self-reflection twice a year. One right before my birthday because my birthday's in June, halfway through the year anyway, and then one at New Year's. So really at my birthday, I just kind of reflect, see what I want to like, okay, this is how the first half has looked. Let me see how the second half will look. I do it as like a pit stop for the year. And then just like, you know, I try not to be as critical on myself and like really hard on myself because sometimes I get super depressed right before my birthday. I definitely have birthday traditions. I'm a ritual superstitious kind of person that's just what i like to do so i wake up i have these this birthday affirmations video that i watch i do all the like it has to everything has to be done i treat it like new year I, so new year ritual is like everything has to be done it's like the way that you go into the year is going to be reflected of how your whole year is that's how i treat my birthday so the house has to be clean has to have everything done like all self-care and maintenance done i do the birthday affirmations i have to like have worked out and been like not drinking up to that point like it has to be very i try to really set the tone no negativity anything on the birthday like i literally treat it like january 1st yeah it works for me and i found some a new affirmation video on youtube that i would do this year so i just it's i'm superstitious i feel like if you have a bad birthday it's gonna be a bad year and we don't have no time for that so i you feel you i feel oh i was letting you focus to get this lash on i know i am i was like i'm gonna ask another one Gotta okay, wait for that thing to drop. Well, I'm waiting for the dry down. You want to ask another one real quick. That's like where you're like, ooh, I look so cute. Let me take a picture. And your front camera's like, you thought. You actually look terrible. You're actually Shrek today. You actually need to go home immediately. It's feeling very brown. I'm going to spray it again. And then I'm going to do my all nighter. All right, y'all. We are back in our full looks. We are both taking pictures and reels and all the things. So be sure to follow us on Instagram at Malibu Darby. And at the kid in the city hopefully you guys enjoyed this i haven't i don't do get ready with me especially chit jagger chit chat get ready with me's a lot very often anymore but if you made this far thank you so much for watching yes, and i'll course. see you in the next video bye <laughs> i did the same thing millennial pause bye oh yeah let me get the thumbnail <laughs>